to the Clippers, Pat Beverly to Orlando. Now, of course, Pat was bought out and signed with his hometown Chicago Bulls. Love that drive from Tari Eason, by the way. You saw the physicality as he got downhill. Here's Ty Ty, throws it up. Too strong, Bryant with a rebound. Well, this pace favors the Rockets. Getting up and down, getting, getting a little helter-skelter. You're gonna have to bear with some of the turnovers, but you know that's the way you want to play it. With Jokic not in, that, that rhythm isn't necessarily gonna be there. Eight for Brown, and Brown is really, you mentioned not really known for being a shooter, but he's really become one in the last couple of seasons, but you're right. Missed it, rebound battle. Easton back in a play to Washington. He'll race the other way, but the Nuggets have three guys back. He doesn't care, goes one on three, that's a goal 10. To Brown, run off the three-point line, through the lane to Chanchar in the corner. No good. Rebound Bryant drops it back inside in Denver with a reset 14. A lot of what we saw earlier in the season from the Rockets, and they're getting their identity back. And they're going to call a push off that time on Bryant. And, and there you go. Look. A lot of what we saw earlier in the season from the Rockets, and they're getting their identity back. And they're going to call a push off that time on Bryant. And, and there you go. Look. Down by as many as 17 in the first. Christopher and had to take it away. Ball is loose, scooped up by Eason and throws it. Giving up 12 points off those turnovers on the free throw line. Too strong there for Bryant. Is Jamal Murray on incredible shooting efficiency from the floor and from three. He's 12 of 17 tonight, five of nine from three. So Thomas Bryant. Is that the line? Oh. Hey, don't forget to download the points bet app, musical dribble, and you receive a second chance. Back at it here in this barn tomorrow night against the Memphis Grizzlies. The last time Memphis was here was the Rockets' home opener. And it was a, it was a really good game. Each of those seasons, winning two of them, and then you got to go back to the 2011-2012 San Antonio Spurs, who also led the league in field goal percentage and three-point percentage. Last year, a deep playoff run, and of course, we shall see. Ruba comes crashing in there. You know, I was having a conversation with an exec the other day, and the exec just said, hey, like, he said, toughness is a skill now. Like, guys get paid to be tough. Guys get paid to, to play hard. It's not just a, a given anymore. Just did above the arc there, but, yeah, he doesn't shoot many of them, but when he does, he's... I, I, I like what Coach Silas is doing here. He's saying, you know, Alpi's had to match up with with Nikola Jokic, and he's saying, flush. you know, get, get a piece of Bryant. Against the Lakers, now people just working Thomas Bryant. That's how Bryant got the best of him, but could not reestablish a percent from the floor for the season, and below 30% from the three. Yeah, he's, he's too good of a, he puts in too much work. Overtime win over the Clippers as they swept that series. Dance March the 13th to the 14th at Pearland Rec Center, March the 15th to the 16th at Fondy Community Center. Kids they just tended up and work on their basketball skills. Frank the Tank the third, baby. Yep. Boban uh, was at his most effective offensive game. Minsky wants to get the ball to Boban. Christopher falls down and gets tied up. Jump ball.